<laughs> we're gonna do a demonstration here about uh, we're having discussions about which takes priority the visual positioning sensors the VPS which is actually two separate systems one is the optical sensor and the other is the infrared sensors that measure height the optical sensor is used for holding horizontal position and the debate or discussion on the internet is about which takes preference for holding position is it the gps or is it the optical sensor and yes i will stipulate the optical sensor is in effect up to a limited height after which it loses um loses whatever effectiveness uh which is about 30 meters or so or is it 30 feet? Can't remember. I have to look that up. <laughs> but my argument is the optical sensor doesn't actually do anything other than aid in landing. And on the higher models that have the precision landing system, those actually do take an image of its takeoff location so the return to home is very accurate. But vision positioning sense system... Um, can be fooled by moving things under it like waves rippling across the surface of the water or stuff floating on the water but my argument is that the gps takes priority and will hold position regardless of what the optical sensor sees moving around underneath it the optical sensor only comes into effect when there is no gps reception so for this experiment i've covered the top of the mini the mavic mini with aluminum foil to block the gps sensor and as shown on my screen here it says take off with caution no gps because it's got no gps reception with that in place so this will take off and will hold position because without GPS it's relying on its optical sensor. Uh, so that's the first test. We're gonna we're even gonna do the automatic takeoff here. Take off. Take off. And look at that. It's holding position even with no GPS. That is because the optical sensor is doing its job. And without GPS, let me lower this just a little bit just so that it's definitely seeing this patterned rug below it. If I now slide this rug forward without GPS because it's relying on, I'm gonna put the controller down so you can see I'm not doing anything, but if I move this, the drone follows it. Can you see that? Move it back. It follows that. And it went too far. There. So the optical sensor is working very well to hold position without GPS. That's the first test. And my position is it's only doing that because it is lacking the GPS signal. Okay, now I gotta do another little experiment. I've switched to the Leechy app because in Leechy, I can turn off the optical sensor, something that DJI's Fly app doesn't allow. If I go to aircraft, under aircraft setting, vision positioning system. I'm going to turn that off. So now, without GPS, oh, and it's showing five satellites. How is it seeing five satellites with the aluminum foil on there? Maybe I don't have enough. Isn't that interesting? Because without sufficient satellite coverage and without the vision positioning system, this should go to ATI mode. Let's try that. Take off. Take off. Warning, ah, less than six satellites. Less than six satellites. And now in Addy mode, it's just free to drift in the wind. If I, if I take my hands off the controls, it's drifting away in the wind because without the GPS and without the vision positioning system, 
it cannot hold its horizontal position. It's just free to drift around in the wind. So if I say go forward and I take my hands off the controls, it just keeps drifting forward. Come on back. And, and it's a windy day today, so this is something that you shouldn't try indoors because <laughs> it's, it's hard to keep it in one position. But it's perfectly controllable. Addy mode is just, <laughs> you gotta steer it. You gotta, if you wanna make it stop, like if I'm backing up towards me, if I wanna make it stop, I just gotta give it a bit of forward input. And, but it won't hover there because <laughs> there's nothing warning wrong less than six satellites less than six satellites lychee reports so it's not using gps because of the aluminum foil on it and it's not using the vision positioning system the optical sensor so i'm just gonna abort that now we're gonna try something else now we're gonna take the aluminum foil off I removed the aluminum foil from the top of the DJI Mini. So now it is free to... So now it's free to connect with the GPS satellites and you can see we have 10 satellites. I'm back in Lychee because I want to show you that I am re-enabling... No, aircraft. I'm going to re-enable vision positioning on out of there and that's just to ensure that the vision positioning system is re-enabled shut that down now we're going over to DJI fly and it's takeoff take home point updated updated that's good so home point updated means it has sufficient GPS and it's using its vision positioning system because it does that but which one takes priority if i run the camera down and show you the map that it's hovering over i'll lower it a little bit so that it's centered over the mat so the optical sensor should have a good lock on that mat again, and the GPS sensors have a good lock on GPS satellites. So what happens if I move this mat now? Is it going to follow it or is it going to stay there? I'm saying the GPS takes priority and it doesn't give a hoot what the optical sensor is telling it. Oh my god, it's following it. <laughs> Okay. It's hovering low over the mat. I'm going to put the... Whoa, and the wind is blowing. It's fighting. I'm going to put the controller down so you see I'm not doing anything with the controller. And I'm going to pull the mat back. Is it going to follow the mat or is it going to stay there? following the mat. So everything I've been saying is bullshit. It's definitely prioritizing the optical sensor. Well, there you go. Well, that tells me a lot. Do I ever look stupid? Move the mat. It's following the mat. Even though it has a good, like 12 GPS satellites. Well, there you go. That blows away all my theories. Uh, so the optical sensor is being used at low altitudes. But the height sensor, the height sensor is still doing its thing. If I'm more than two feet below, it, uh, yeah, the wind is blowing all over the place here. If I move my hand up under it, if I get to within two feet, it rises up away from my hand. That's 
that's the optical sen the uh, height sensor, the infrared sensor. But anything below two feet, it never cares about. It's only during landing, the landing protection system. That's the height sensor, the infrared. It's only if I get within two feet that it senses that and moves away. I mean, it's always sensing. It's measuring up to some 10 meters, but uh, it only ever reacts to anything if it's within two feet. But the optical sensor is used for position holding. That's so cool. What if I move the mat now? Is it? Okay, at that height, it doesn't care. It's only when it's really low. I can come down. What about? Is it going to follow my hand? Like, okay, it sees my hand because it reacted to that by jumping up. If I move my hand, is it going to follow that? No. Only height-wise. But if, if I move my hand, it's not tracking and following my hand. So it has to be something that that at least fills the entire range of the optical sensor. Otherwise, it doesn't care. So if I'm low enough that that's all it sees, then it's going to follow it. Even though the GPS is telling it that it hasn't moved, but if it, or that it is moving. If I move the mat, it follows the mat. Well, there you go. Learn something new every day. But if I go higher, how, I don't know how high that has to be. So on the, I mean, with the camera pointed down, you can see the, that it's still over the mat. If I move the mat now, is it going to follow it? No. So that the pattern that it is seeing must fill at least a certain percentage of the, the sensor's screen for it to fixate on it. Otherwise it's holding with GPS or it's holding with a greater pattern and seeing the bricks around the around that mat. Well, that's darn cool. So I learned something. There you go. Let's see if we can edit this into something sensible and easy enough to verify by others. Signing out.